just West Virginia stuff is just stunning. I mean, I want to hear from a libertarian who believes that there should be less regulation. I saw Glenn Beck tweet something about a picture that a lawmaker sent him about, we've become a nation of regulations. Well, there was a big regulatory gap uh, with this Freedom Industries and their storage of this wildly toxic chemical, method, blah, 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 I can't even name, I don't know, M -A -M -H -M -H or something. Um, and not only did this leak and just dump into the Elk River, which was a source of drinking water for these people in West Virginia, but they didn't even, they weren't the first ones to report it. Like, literally, the community said, hey, something stinks. Like, literally stinks. Well, let's talk about it in the better half. Right. I mean, as if there's no process in which for these people to realize they are dumping poisonous chemicals into the drinking supply. We'll talk about this in the uh, funner half. Maybe we'll speculate. Like, what if a terrorist dumped, like, just even a fraction of this amount into the, uh, into the drinking uh, supply? Can you imagine? Uh, well, we'll talk about it in the uh, in the. Well, in the, the terrorists did it. They hated us for our freedom. Right. Well, as a libertarian, might for our say, freedom, freedom industries. industries. <laughs> right. They hate it. If, as a libertarian might say, though, if you stop the the chemicals from leaking into the water, then you eliminate the ability to solve cancer, right. cure cancer. Hi, Sam. Uh, Peter. I'm. Uh, I'm not, I um. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, there you go. Sorry. Just walking out of the room so I don't get caught on the radio. Uh, I was listening in on some of your stuff, and one thing I've always thought is that... Um, Can you just back off your phone just a little bit? Uh, just back off your phone a little bit because you're breaking up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, here, let me just try. How do I sound now? Great. All right. So one thing I've always thought is when you see a company like Freedom and all that, um, doing what they did where they accidentally spilled those chemicals, or at least allegedly did, um, there should, you'd think that in a normal capitalist society, the response would be, okay, well then, people don't want to buy from them, people don't want to be associated with them. And I feel that part of that is really um, where that solution lies. We always say more regulation. I say just take away the safety net. Stop giving them the backup funding and they'll um, they'll be forced to behave in a better manner because then, you know, it'll be everything that's on the line. Let, let them be culpable when they're, you know, employees, when their employees have to lose their jobs over their own mistakes, things like that. So wait a second. What backup funds are you talking about? You mean we shouldn't clean up the Elk River right now so that they will learn a lesson? Well, what I'm saying is, well, yeah, that company should be forced to, should be forced to do the cleanup. But more importantly... We need to make sure that they're underneath the same laws that we are, breaking the law just like a private citizen would be punished for that. Well, but you understand more when, you say, when you say breaking the law, you know what another word for that law is? Regulation. Well, yeah, and I agree. It's just regulation. Regulation is that four-letter word. But, more, but yeah, I guess what I'm trying to get at is we keep saying that there's a new thing to do, and I don't think there's anything new to do about it. I yes, think we need tighter regulation on it. People... We need tighter regulation. We need a regulatory yeah, yeah. agency that comes in and actually investigates and checks out. The reason why they fell through a regulatory crack is because they were just a storage facility. And because they were a storage facility, they hadn't been inspected in over like 10, 12 years. And so what we need is tighter regulatory <laughs> control of the processing of those chemicals. There's no. It doesn't matter if they go out of business now. They, they, it doesn't matter. I mean, the damage is done. And that guy, whoever th goes out of business, will be protected. He's protected his own assets. He's at arm's length from all this, from liability, because he's you know uh, he's doing it under a corporation. There's only one way to deal with this, and that is to have tighter regulatory control of this stuff. It doesn't happen to begin with. Yeah. Well, I mean, and I guess what my I guess to just try and well, what my theory is is that it is that the problem 
because I know for a fact right now I live in South Carolina. If I were to take it, if I were to take the grease from the last time I fried something, walk out in my backyard and pour it in the lake, bam! I think that's like a five hundred dollar ticket. I want to say. Okay. And right off that, you know, I'd be punished for that, and that's the, and part of that is because I don't have special protection under the law. I don't. No one's going to. No one's going. You know, and it's not. And, there will always be a risk. If you were incorporated, if you were incorporated and you think. did that in the context of your business, uh, all that would happen would be that your corporation would get a fine. Now, presumably, you're not doing that just because you want to put grease in the water. You're doing it because it saves you a considerable amount of money. And uh, you have probably done the calculation that. Eventually, I may get caught, and I'll pay that $500 fine. My corporation will. But in the meantime, I'll have made thousands upon thousands of dollars in profit over the years for doing that practice. And so for you, it's just a good business sense. Well, right. And if I may, to quote from Europe, which I know is, a, which I know is, a, which I know is sacrilege to the Republicans, Maybe we should just do it the same way, um, say, Germany does it with their speeding tickets, where everyone pays the amount that hurts. So, yeah, and, that, and yeah, that does mean that if, that if someone like, you know, this Freedom LLC or whatever um, does this stuff, um, maybe they should, maybe, you know, their punishment should most certainly be not only grander than mine, but then make it so they understand that it's like, and for, you know, like, and because... Like the town has to flush its water and do all of this crap just to get ahead of the just to get ahead of this new polluted water. They're gonna have to, you know, you know, they're gonna have, they're gonna have to pay for that. And all right, you break, you're breaking you're up. Playing. You're breaking up. I mean, I look. the 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 solution to this is I gotta let you go. Uh, the solution to this is we need a tighter regulatory regime. We need criminal punishments for uh, stuff that is found to be. Uh, uh, negligent. I mean, we don't know exactly how negligent they were here, but uh, uh, there needs to be just simply more. I want to call it law. Call it law. There needs to be more regulation. Um, and then ultimately, what we need to do is, particularly in a, in in the case of West Virginia, I mean, it's not necessarily uh, directly related. Well, there there needs to be a way to get a state or a community um, to have the economic strength to not be blackmailed by people who are going to exploit their resources and their health for their own profits. That's the bottom line. The fact that there's a loophole even where a storage facility doesn't need to be checked, that's just unbelievable. I also think it was longer than 10 or 12 years, incidentally. I think the, the inspection time might have even gone back to the early 90s. Yeah. I know, uh, what I also don't understand is just this elaborate need, like what, like Germany's speeding tickets. What, like what, what is the thing here? It's simple. You need tighter. I mean, like as you said, right. I just don't understand the obsession with complicating things. You just don't I want don't, to become an unfree nation where people don't have the freedom to do I, this. I guess that really is what it comes down to.